Hi, I'm Divya Gugnani, welcoming you to Meme in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Named after the chef owner's Moroccan grandmother, new American flavors are served in a home-like ambiance. So let's go behind the burner and meet the chef. Hi, I'm here with chef owner David Katz. David, I love mussels. What are you doing to them? We are going to saute mussels. We serve them on a cast iron skillet and they hit the table sizzling. I like the sizzle. Let's get started. So when you're buying mussels, what do you look for? Uh, you want the mussels to be shiny and black and closed and they shouldn't have any kind of smell to them besides they should just smell slightly like the ocean or I say fresh fish should always smell like ice, like nothing. <laughs> we put them in a pan here, you want a hot pan, it's going to make a little bit of noise. So you put white wine in the pan, nice and hot and then you just want to cover them and they take about two, three minutes to just open. And then this is the mussels, you know, after they're cooled down and removed from their shell and that's all we're interested in for this dish. We do not need any shell. So what do you look for when you know the mussels are ready? They have to be all opened up? They don't, yeah, I mean they have to be open enough to where, you know, you could maybe pull them apart a little bit with your fingers. They don't have to be completely wide open. Once they become wide open, that means they've been open for a minute and if you keep cooking them, they'll end up like erasers. So just till they open. You don't want erasers, definitely no, not. No good. Um, and the ones that are closed? The ones that stay closed and all the rest are open, it's good to just toss them a lot of times. There could be mud in them, they're, they're a little heavy. They're out. Yes, this is a little kind of gravy thickener, uh, flour, wandra flour. Pretty popular uh, condiment to keep things crispy. So we just coat them in a little bit of wandra flour like this because we, we want to develop a nice little, nice little crust on the mussel, sorry. So we just get the excess wandra off of the mussel. Put a little bit of cooking oil in there, in, uh, either grapeseed oil or canola oil. We use canola oil here. Hot pan is a key. That is, that is definitely my tip to cooking this dish. You want your pan to be nice and hot or else these mussels are just gonna steam. Another good tip is that when the pan's super hot and you don't want your food to stick, let it sit for a minute. Exactly, definitely. You want it, you want it to develop a little, a little bit of a sear, you know, like a crust, and then that will allow the food to remove itself. Now also, we take these trusty little cast iron skillets here and put this on to get very hot at the same time. After they develop their initial crust there in the pan, we're gonna put them with a little bit of kosher salt, a little bit of white pepper distributed, and then we take a little bit of thyme. The fresh herbs a little bit can go a long way. They're really fresh, they got a lot of exactly. flavor. Exactly, definitely. And parsley plays a much bigger role in this dish, as you'll see. We put a liberal amount of parsley in this dish. It's always Italian flat leaf parsley. The curly parsley serves no purpose outside of garnishing. Parsley always brightens up fish and shellfish and meats, of course. A cool little technique with lemon juice, if you need lemon juice in abundance, you know, all throughout the night while you're cooking, we put it in a squeeze bottle. I'm sure I didn't invent that, but if you had a lemon and you squeeze it in, you have to pick seeds out. And so we do a little bit of lemon juice and then that's when we take them right to the hot skillet, to the cast iron. And then we just take the sizzling mussels to an underliner, a little bit more lemon juice, a little bit of good extra virgin olive oil, also in a little squeeze bottle, some flor de sel, sea salt, and they're finished. So our mussels are definitely sizzling, which they means are. that it's time for us to try them. Me first. Mmm. They're kind of... Definitely not eraser-like, I can no, tell you no, that. Great tender. consistency, tender, um, parsley, good kind of yeah, feel to lemony. it. Lemony yeah. for sure. And the Florida salt gives it a little bit of um, a nice little surface salt yeah. there. Yeah, exactly. It does. It gives it a little salt. added depth. Salt from the sea. Salt from the sea. This is a really a taste of sea. So thanks so much for having us. Thanks for coming. Stay tuned to Behind the Burner, where we give you the tips, tricks, and techniques that are lighting the culinary world on fire.